You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, October 21st, 2019. It is also the feast day of St. Ursula. Now, before we dive into today's topic, let's talk about St. Ursula. St. Ursula lived a long time ago. In fact, she lived in the 300s. And much of what we know about her is clouded in legend. So St. Ursula lived in what is now England. She was a princess, and her father ordered that she go set sail for the European continent to meet her husband that she was engaged to. So she set sail, but not by herself. She left with 11,000 other women who were still virgins, and they set sail for the European continent. Miraculously, a storm brought them there in one day. But before she got married, she went on a pilgrimage of Europe to see all of the holy sites, and she even convinced a bishop and the pope to come along with them. However, It was a much different time, and a violent group called the Huns were attacking various places in Europe, and they were incredibly violent. So they captured this small group, they beheaded all of the people with Ursula, and legend tells us that she was shot also. She, however, was renowned for her incredible faith, and legends started to be told about her soon after her death. So regardless if this story is absolutely true about St. Ursula or not, we can take from her the importance of going on pilgrimage to go see the important holy sites of our faith. We can go there, which is most amazing this day, even virtually. We can go online and look at the pictures of these real places where amazing things have happened. So today, friends, we are going to keep talking about the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Last week, we talked about the first gift, which is fear of the Lord. And this week, we are going to talk about the second gift, which is piety. Now, just to remind you, when we talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we need to remember two things. Number one, these are gifts. We can work to be more holy and do better and love God more. But ultimately, these are things that God just gives us because he is good, because he is love. The next thing we need to remember is that each gift of the Holy Spirit is like climbing a ladder. Last week, fear of the Lord is the first rung on this ladder. Piety is the second. And as we go through this, you are going to see that each of these gifts builds upon the other. The first lay the groundwork for the second. So piety. Now, piety is one of those kind of old sounding words that we might not really understand. If I were to tell you to picture someone who is pious, you would probably picture someone who's very quiet and very prayerful. And let's be honest, a little bit boring. But this is because oftentimes in the way that we use the word pious, it does not even come close to communicating what this gift is. And so, friends, to understand the gift of piety, you need to keep one concept in mind, and that concept is family. Piety helps us see God, experience God, and experience everything in this world as family. We are going to talk about this a lot more, but here is what I want you to think about today. Last week, we talked about fear of the Lord, meaning I know he's God. I know he's great. I will do what he commands. And so think about the Old Testament. When God first appeared face to face with someone, that someone was Moses. And Moses asked what God's name was. God said, I am who am. 
He said, I am, meaning I am existence itself. I am the all powerful. I am everything, right? So that is our first understanding of God, that he is the all powerful director of everything. Now let's go to the New Testament. The disciples asked Jesus, Jesus, teach us how to pray. Do you know what prayer Jesus taught them? He taught them the Our Father. Now think about these two ways to address God. Number one, I am, meaning I am the most powerful and he is the most powerful being, the only being. And then Our Father. Now, this is the transition that we go from, from fear of the Lord, meaning, yes, I will obey, to our Father, which means I love and respect you as a father, and therefore I will obey. That is the gift of piety. Piety, the fundamental piece of the gift of piety is to understand and see God as a loving father because that is what he is. All of this, the family ties that we enjoy on earth are just to help us to understand how to live in relationship with God. So we're going to talk a lot more about the gift of piety. I know you probably still have some questions about it, but we'll do that tomorrow. For today, your challenge is simply to pray the words of the Our Father. Pray it either by yourself or with the people whom you're with right now. Pray it slowly and deliberately. And think about these words. In the Old Testament, we only knew God as this all-powerful being that was all existence, that was all power. But in the New Testament, Jesus teaches us that, yes, he is that, but he is also your loving Father. Internalize that, think about it, and say the Our Father today. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Thank you so much for listening to Catholic Sprouts podcast. And thank you to everyone that has shared this podcast with other people. If there is someone in your life that you know would enjoy listening or sharing this podcast with their children, please consider sharing it. You can do it in a simple way. Simply text them a link or tell them about it the next time you see them. But it is such a joy to share this podcast with as many as possible. And thank you for your help in doing just that.